Let's once more come before God in prayer. Let us pray. Father, though you are in heaven, you are near us with us, attentive to our cries for mercy, our cries shouting joyful thanksgiving for all you bless us with, family who surround us with love, friends who support and care for us, our siblings in Christ united to one another by the Spirit. Recall, recall how when they are in pain, ill, we join with their suffering, calling to you, Lord, the one you love is sick. Like Mary and Martha, we call on you in faith and trust to our friend and sibling, Christ Jesus, knowing he understands and shares our pain and concern, knowing he weeps with us when we mourn, knowing he is the resurrection and the life. Resurrected one, your body was raised from death to life, removing the power of death once and for all. You bear the scars of the cross and bore the scars of your humanity at the grave of Lazarus. We grieve today, Lord Jesus, for family and friends who linger in the shadow of death, for the loss of what's come before in this place, for our failure to be people of your spirit, trusting as you as the resurrection and the life. And Jesus, we know you weep when we weep. We know you answer our prayers. But we also wonder why not always as we'd want, especially as we watch, as we lose something or someone dear to us. Thanksgiving we bring can articulate this, that you'll listen to us and our cries for mercy and lament. Revive us, God, Father, Son, Spirit. In your great mercy, revive us. Fill us with the Spirit of Christ, that as we die with him, we live with him and revive your world. Where there's distress, bring calm. Where there is suffering, bring ease. Where there is conflict, bring peace. All this we pray through the one who brings peace beyond all human understanding. Christ Jesus, the resurrection and the life. Amen.